This is Water Elemental. And this is What Do. And today we're going to be kind of talking about what's the popular things in the alpha or what is known as the metagame. The metagame of the alpha of Hex. Woo! Shards of Fate. Now, we have a good selection of cards to start out with and they've been increasingly adding more. So we've been kind of seeing a shift between the meta, but what are the most prominent cards you see being played from your perspective when you play? Um, There are kind of two ways to go about it. Um, of course, there is... Early game rush is still very strong, as we kind of thought there was going to be. Um, but the, the control aspect is really being dominated by one card, that card being Life Siphon, which is a blood card that says you uh, use X resources, you deal that much damage to the opposing champion, and you gain that much life. And the reason why this one is so popular right now is there's so much uh, mana g ramp, as we put it, or mana gain, that you can put it in about turn five and deal about seven to eight damage because we have you know we have all the green cards that can do it we have a lot of the artifact cards that can gain that and so people are just able to ramp really fast and right now there's no counter to it there's no other way to stop that there's no the spells there's no counter magic there's nothing mm -hmm. originally uh counter magic was in in the spoiler but it's not in the alpha yet once counter magic comes out i think it'll actually put a real Hindrance. Hindrance into those kinds of decks. But in the meantime, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, because that's, that's essentially the win condition. There's that, and I can't remember the name of this uh, card. It's a one cost, no, it's three cost, three one, socketable. When it comes in, uh, when it goes to the graveyard, it can go back to your hand with a two cost. But it costs two more, yeah. Two more. And so what people are doing is they're adding the socket that says when this card comes to play, deal damage equal to its uh, uh, attack. attack. So you're using that with Life Siphon just to keep burning. And again, there's no way to stop that. No creature counter, no ability shortage. It's just straight up damage, damage, damage. And right now, it's very prominent and very hard to stop. Mm -hmm. And that actually showed up in a, a rather cool deck that we saw earlier, which was a combination between that and Spirit Dance, which gave it additional attack even before it came in. So it was a cool thing to see. And it was free. So it would just yes. be like, okay, I'm just going to keep you know playing and playing and playing and playing this like heavy... Mm -hmm. You know, whatever's in my deck is going to come out really hard, and we're just kind of waiting for it. And when it comes into play, it's going to deal like nine to ten. Yep, damage. and then he had a couple sack Alice. He wasn't able to use them, but being able to sack it and play it again, oh man, it was a cool thing to see. But once again, it is something that's really prominent right now. The other one we mentioned earlier is uh, early game aggression. The most popular deck right now runs a lot of uh, Raptors mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, Orcs from what I've seen, a lot of Zoltog and a lot of the gladiators who prevent blocking, so you can't really stop them once they start on this like rolling downhill stream. Mm -hmm. It's like, turn one, I'm going to destroy half your board. Turn two, I'm going to keep that board down. And by turn five, it's it's going to be a one-sided mm -hmm. fight. Because one, uh, one thing, Zoltog had a little bit of a problem previously. We're not, I'm not sure if they've fixed it yet, but I've seen him tar trigger without it being an orc ability. His ability is supposed to say when an orc deals damage to a player, you get to bring in a one a two one cost one. two one. Yeah. But sometimes I saw like five or six orcs come out, and it's like, but there's only two orcs on the board. What's going on? Mm -hmm. it, it seems that it may have previously been triggering off of non orcs. Yeah. But it's still a good card. It. It's still a good oh, card, yes. and, it, and with a scale out of four cost, if you're playing this heavy rush deck, even with orcs, you can get a lot of damage out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, but that one, that one made it just kind of silly to put in basically anything. So hopefully that's fixed. If not now, then soon. Some other decks we've been seeing that are fun to watch, but unfortunately aren't doing as well as it should, are combo decks. Some of the combo decks we've been seeing are... Blue artifacts uh, using the Argus, uh, as well as Inspiration Engine, which was entered into the game. Mm -hmm. So both of those, you know, people are trying to make them work, but because of the way the meta is and there's no counter towards that aggression of early game, mm -hmm. you can't build up fast enough to get defenses out and be able to combo at the same time. Yeah, and if you're playing against someone who's doing the life siphon, between those two controls, life siphon's going to win out yeah. because there's, once again, there's just no counter to it. So it's hard for control. It's hard to do a combo that controls, um, and still be able to answer to that. More people are playing uh, deck destruction, which is interesting to see. We've seen mm -hmm. some more out there besides ourselves. 
makes me a little bit happy and proud to see that <laughs> others are thinking, oh, booby trap's actually useful. And they're taking it away from just a mono blue deck and putting in more blood aspects to it. So they're adding cards that scale off, cards from graveyard, uh, deck recurge, and all that stuff. So they're making it faster for you to use your champion ability and making it so you're actually milling the deck faster and giving it more purpose. So I like char I like to see charge bot getting used. I'd like to see that that's actually a viable card in these decks. Well, now that you can actually use your champion ability more than once, uh, it yeah, kind of helps. Uh, <laughs> I suppose so. Uh, I haven't really seen much Inspire anymore because of the fact that Inspire needs a full curve and you can't do that with, a, mm -hmm. with the full assortment of rush decks and burn decks. It's just kind of hard to do. It's hard to build up, especially when... There, it's it's true that when we mentioned originally, there weren't many. There's only like one sweeps card for basically each color, with a couple of exceptions. Um, but if you're in those colors, what we've seen is that a lot of people run them. Yeah, it's like if you have a card that can't be stopped, and it's really really powerful, why not use it? So if you're playing a black deck, you run murder. There's 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 no reason not and to run murder. Extinction as well. As well as extinction. As well as the uh, Spider Guy again, the 3-1 that mm -hmm. comes and play with that. There's, there's no reason not to play that card. It's a 3-1 blocker that comes and play and deals 3 damage at minimum. Which that would be that would be fine for Inspire if a certain card was still available for things in the graveyard. Yeah. But they'll get that fixed up rather soon, and Hopefully. Inspire will jump up to uh, in popularity. It'll be wonderful. Shin Hair is another deck that people have been trying to play. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, due to the fact that you need a lot of wind-up, and there's so much board destruction, you can't play Shin Hair right now. There are alternatives. People are using uh, Shin Hair abilities to kind of strengthen other creatures up. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Sensei... Uh, was it Sensei Milky Eye? Sensei of the Milky Eye or something like yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. Um, he's. We've been seeing a lot of him just because being able to um, drop him and still be able to get a card out of it is good in any any deck that's running wild so um, draw, deck draw for green is very very useful because there's not much of it mm -hmm. as well as the the rage shin hair as well so they're, they're seeing play in other decks it's just there's there's no synergy in the tribe yet yeah I think it's it's difficult just because they can't build up as well as other things are building up right now yeah there are cards that people are playing from shin hair the most popular is the grand concubine but she's had a problem of summoning some pretty weird cards, I guess. <laughs> and cards that are just... It's, it's, when it comes to random cards like that, people don't want to really play them because they're not reliable. Mm -hmm. They're fun. They're really fun, like Inspiration Engine. It's awesome engine. to see, and Inspiration is an engine, like you said. But I, as far as when, when you play it and when you play against it, there aren't a lot of artifact cards where if it makes a random one when you're sitting there like, oh, this is, this is the end of the game. Like, you could get Argus... And you could get the Slaughterhouse, but you could get a Worker Bot, and I've seen someone get a Worker Bot out of it, and that uh, that poor soul. Uh, it, yeah, that's one of those things where it can go either way. You can get the game-changing game, or you can get the worst possible option. <laughs> and I know in other games that, like, randomization is really bad, uh, and the to be honest, the randomization engine in Hex isn't perfected yet to a point where we can trust it. A lot of card draws and stuff like that have been very one-sided. So, mm -hmm. which show? If we don't really know the back end as, as far as the shuffling, but it's it's in progress. Mm -hmm. Certainly, it's certainly alpha is alpha. Yeah. Alpha is alpha. What do you think the most prominent champion is right now in the game? If I were to say it's um, the battle master makes the battle cast, I don't. Quite remember Poco what was or something like that. Poco. Um, I think that that one's been f uh, fairly prominent. She's the um, one that's two red threshold to bring out the three one elemental. Elemental. With speed. Yes, I've have seen that a few times as far as with the um, with that red green beat down, but I'm surprised there's actually been a fairly good variety. Yeah, there people aren't really being forced to play one. Hero. Some heroes aren't being played because they aren't working. Some other champions are pure garbage, from what I know. <laughs> There's I ones that are like pay five to put a four or three three with a five cost into your hand. With a tr mm -hmm. charge like that, I think it should be put into play. Yeah, and then I believe it's the one that if you use uh, four charges, you give something uh, plus two plus two for the turn, and that's it. 
where there are ones that are cheaper that you can just plus plus one plus one or just flight like for two permanent. so there are, are there ones that are certainly a lot weaker than the others yes but there is a lot of variety in those that are left over I'm still seeing champions that are coming out that I haven't seen before I'm like oh someone's playing this I wonder what deck they're trying to play mm -hmm. uh, another really popular champion is that blue one that gives permanent flight that's another deck that kind of has been popping out of nowhere where it's blue aggression. It uses Flock of Seagulls as well as the bird that gives rage and uh, flight. So those that's another one I thought I was like, yeah, that, that one I've been seeing quite a lot lately. I've been, I've been seeing it a bit. I, As far as when I was playing, um, I do like my Orc Tribal. It's fun, fun, fun. Um, it seemed to not... The birds didn't seem to go f quite fast enough. But I see it's, vi it's certainly viable. Yeah. I don't know. I can't wait to see what comes out as more cards progress. This is just a kind of update to let you know what's popular, what's not working, and you know what decks you should keep an eye out for. As, as we progress, we're going to definitely update people on you know what, what's fun, what's not, uh, ways to counter it, because that's prob one of the things we're here for. It's like, if there's a deck that's going to be extremely prominent and there's a way to shut it down to make the game a little bit more balanced, we, we, will, let you know. Let you know. we will hand you the deck list Put, give you a kiss on the head and say good luck, son. <laughs> that, that's how that's how we're going to do it. Because mm -hmm. if we have a community that constantly rotates a metagame, then the game's going to be strong. Because yes. I will never feel like, okay, I can never play my black-blue Shin Hair deck because some guy is playing another deck that just it can't stop. If mm -hmm. there's a way to counter it, make that deck less um, mm -hmm. viable, then definitely, you can't keep around. It's definitely the strength of having a digital TCG where you can always change, change around that meta. So we'll, we will keep you guys posted as more things come out. Make sure to check out all of the other Hex stuff as it comes out. We are trying to update the best we can. Absolutely. But uh, until then, this has been Water Elemental. And what do? See you later, Hexers. Oh.